crash is making some progress. Good evening. I'm Daniel Muddy. And I'm Natasha Paloma. School officials say James McLean Green has opened his eyes and is following simple commands. KTSM 9 News reporter Tatiana Favela is live in West El Paso with how the community members are helping step in and save his life. Friends, staff, and the community is continuing to outpour their support for James McLean Green, even if that means waiting for hours to donate blood and help save his life. Franklin High School Twitter page tweeted, quote, James remains stable and has opened his eyes and is following simple commands. Now, that crash happened Saturday night in Santa Teresa, and police say McLean Green was a passenger in a Jeep that ran a stop sign and crashed into another car before rolling over. He was rushed to the hospital in critical condition. I've seen on Twitter, like everyone from Montwood and El Dorado and certain schools from around the city that of course we played against to show their support. Like it really does mean a lot that one of our own went down and we had the whole city basically rally behind it and support the cause. And police have arrested two drivers involved in the ro rollover crash for DWI. And the, dri the blood drive here at Franklin actually filled capacity before 3 o'clock this afternoon, but many other people continued, continued donating their blood at United Blood Services. Live in West El Paso, Tatiana Favela, KTSM 9 News. All right, thank you, Tatiana. Green's teammates at Franklin High School are juggling a lot this week. In addition to his accident, they've got a playoff game to prepare for. With more on how they're coping, we turn it over to KTSM 9 sports anchor Colin Deaver. Natasha, it was by no means a normal day at Franklin High School, but the Cougars are doing what they say James McLean Green would want them to do, and that's get ready for the area playoffs against Trinity Ulysses on Friday night in Midland. Now, while McLean Green wasn't there in the flesh, he was there in spirit. The Cougars opened practice by shouting his name before they got to work. Franklin is using the time on the practice field as a chance to take their minds off the stressful last couple of days, and it was easier to hit the field after learning that McLean Green's health had improved overnight. When he's in this situation, you know, the football becomes secondary. You know, it's, it's about his health, his, his well-being, and so the kids are that way. Uh, we're just trying to use football as best we can as kind of a resource to, to get out some of the frustrations and, and disappointments or angers, whatever, you know, the emotions that we have that are negative and, and, and enjoy, the, you know, the game of football as much as we can, uh, but we still, James will never be out of, out of our mind. Now, many of the Franklin players were with McLean Green throughout the weekend at the hospital, so certainly a relief for them to know that he is improving tonight. The Cougars will continue to hope for his full recovery while they get ready for Friday's playoff game. We'll have much more from Franklin tonight at 6 on KTSM. Live in the newsroom, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports. All right, thank